All right, you guys are catching me right at the end of my work shift. You guys are definitely getting a bit of corporate nep today. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Nefertiti Gold and I'm an electronic R&B artist. Today's video is an update to my series of learning piano as a producer. Shout out to DistroKid for sponsoring this series. DistroKid is one of the world's leading distributors, distributing one third of all of today's music to all streaming platforms. If you are an independent artist, DistroKid is going to be your best friend. They are constantly developing tools for you to use as an independent artist for free to help you promote your music, such as promo cards and hyper Hyperfollow. Hyperfollow serves as a pre-save link and once your music is officially released it actually automatically converts to a link that you can use anywhere to share your music on any streaming platform. And promo cards are vertical assets that you can use to help promote your songs along the way. Now these tools are free to use if you're a Distro Kid member and if you're not a Distro Kid member definitely use my link in the description below and get 7% off your first year. Okay so it's been a bit since our last update. I have have been I've been working I I have been on the corporate grind not gonna hold you as you can as you can see today's ensemble is a little but you know that's kind of part of the sacrifice you know like you get off of work and it's kind of like you can decide to kind of sit on a couch and binge some Netflix or we can be productive and I have made sure that I am productive when it comes to keeping you guys updated on this learning piano journey of mine that I decided to put on the internet, which is kind of part of the reason why I'm putting it on the internet so that I can have something to kind of hold me accountable because every once in a while, it won't be a lot of people, don't get it twisted, it won't be a lot of people, but there's always at least one person that'll be like, hey, when are you going to do so today I'm mostly pretty much reviewing one of the next pieces that I'm working on. I have most of it down, but there are some trouble areas that I'm working on. And I want to share exactly what's going through my mind and specifically what I'm focusing on when it comes to this piece. Now, I have definitely learned this piece before. However, I am very much realizing that in the world of learning an instrument, learning a new skill, you really have to find it in you to just stick it out and really commit to it. You really got to be consistent because what I have found out the hard way is that even though I've played this piece before, because I wasn't consistent in my piano learning journey, I kind of lost it. So in those early years of learning a new instrument, it really is pivotal that you really just stick it out no matter how weird it gets, no matter how much you plateau, because it kind of sucks to have to relearn something that I technically already know, but that really just falls on me. And we're trying to fix that this time around. For this particular piece that I'm working on, it's the it's Prelude Opus 28 number no. four by Chopin. And I will say that the first one, two, three, four systems, I'm pretty mostly solid on. It just gets really weird towards this fifth system here where there's some pretty, there are some pretty big jumps happening. And on top of there being a lot of big jumps, there's also some kind of, there's like weird chords. So it's double Bs. And then it jumps up to this weird chord here, if I'm reading that correctly. And that's the thing that kind of comes with the territory of not being consistent. Even though I played this piece before, I have to really, really make sure that I don't forget what's happening in this piece and kind of rereading it and making sure that I'm brushing up on my sight reading as well. And I'm pretty sure I played that chord correctly, but let me just double check. That's technically an F sharp and an A. So it's a, it's a really big stretch for my hands. And also it's just a weird place to land into from this jump down here to here. And when it comes to like those really hard sections, I've just been just focusing on that one part and that one part only. And I'm not too focused on the musicality of these particular tougher sections. It's more so just about getting like the muscle memory down and just really getting my hands, you know, accustomed to what's happening. So 
I'll just literally just do this really slowly. And that was incorrect. So it's. And I'll just do that like over and over and over until until it feels comfortable to do it slowly. And then maybe I'll speed it up. But in this particular case, because this piece itself is not a fast piece, I kind of have some leeway here to be a little bit slower, but it can't be at a snail's pace either. hitting two notes at the same time. That I didn't hit all of the notes. It's really this chord that's just like a troublemaker. All right, so the chord that comes after that is now a G, B, G, B, D sharp, F sharp. So it's really... We'll only hit that chord one time and then we'll come down to this inverted E minor and then we do a little bounce and then the muscle memory is kicking in after that memory there is some coordination stuff I gotta work on but I'm not necessarily ready right now to try to demonstrate that to you because the focus is the left hand with some of these funky chords since I've pretty much gone over what exactly I'm working on I do want to share you know some progress so at the very least I will play up until this particular funky section <laughs> So I still have a few more measures to go, but that is so close to being done. I just have to make sure that when it comes to practicing, when it comes to piano, and something that I hope you guys can take from this as well, is that once you've learned something, just keep playing it like over and over and over again. Even if it might get tiring, even if you think it's tiring, just go back to it and just keep playing it because it can only help you improve. So that's it for this month's update. I hope I am doing you guys proud. If you are new here, definitely subscribe to the channel and check out one of these other videos while you're here and I'll see you guys in the next video.